Hi, in this one I'm just going to show you quickly how to make a distraction free script editor for working in highs. So we'll start by going to the view menu, click add floating window, and we'll get this pop out window. And there are all kinds of things we can do with this. So we'll start by right clicking on it and selecting toggle global layout mode. We're going to right click again and select horizontal tile, and we'll click this plus button here. So now we've got these two tiles. We're going to click this plus button again to add a third section. And then in this middle one, we're going to right click and select vertical tile. And then we'll come over to this plus button. And now we split this middle one into two. Okay, now right click anywhere and click toggle global layout mode again to turn off global layout mode. So this is how it's looking so far. So in this top section here, we're going to right click and select global script connector. In this one here on the left, we're going to right click and select script editor. And the same with the one on the right. And this bottom one down here, we're going to right click and select uh, DBG for debug console. So we get a console window down here. We can right click in there, just clear that out. So at the top here, we've got a global script connector. So that means we can select any of the scripts in our project. And by scripts, we're talking about uh, these separate MIDI processors. So we're on the interface script here. So then from the drop downs, we can select our different callbacks and files and things like that. So there we go. And we can click compile in here. We've got two of them. So there we go. There's our really simple distraction free script editor. This is great, especially if you're comparing two files and it's really minimalist. So you're not going to be distracted by lots of different tabs and by the UI and the module tree. And because this is a floating tile, you can move it to a, se a second monitor if you've got a second monitor or a second desktop if you're working with virtual desktops. So let's change up here to a second script. Uh, let's go with this one. So now we're looking at the contents of this second script. And because we've got this global connector, it's linking both of these script editors together. So the options that are available are, the, are determined by this. So this is a really powerful feature. I've shown it in a pop-out window here, but you can actually set up a custom interface just for the Hall of Highs. So if you go to View and select Show Custom Workspace, and this is what I have. It doesn't look so good on this smaller screen, but usually I work on a, on a larger screen and it's uh, much better. So I'd have my um, module tree here. This is all the regular stuff actually on the left hand side and the custom workspace is this section here. And I'll just show you what I've got. So I have my um, interface designer, but I also have scripts if I want to and a sample map editor. So I can sort of switch between different things. So I could have a view like that, which is kind of similar to what we set up in the pop out window. I always have the console on this side. Um, I have another script editor here. So I can have three open at once. I also have a server controller if I'm doing server stuff and a DSP network graph for working on script node effects. And then again, there's the interface designer. So I can have everything sort of open and visible at the same time. So play around and set up the interface in a way that suits your workflow and has all the things that you need. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for joining me for this video. Questions or comments, leave them below and I'll see you next time.